Um, good afternoon. Um, thank you for inviting me. Slides have arrived. Um, buttons are, has someone stolen them? <laughs> oh, I stole them, sorry. Um, thank you for inviting me to speak. Uh, my name is Kim. I come from a company called Lloyd's Register. And uh, to say it with Monty Python, now for something completely different. Um, I start with explaining to you what Lloyd's Register is because I expect not many people do know what it is. Uh, we are an asset assurance company and uh, about 255 years old today, um, roughly, I think. Um, we came to be uh, in a coffee shop in London. One wouldn't think 255 years ago people were drinking coffee, but they did at least not in the UK. I thought there were always tea drinkers, but... Um, in this coffee shop, uh, mariners were sitting around thinking, how do we make sure that we transport our goods on ships that are safe? And the idea of ship classification was born. This is what my part of the organisation still does today. Uh, meanwhile, we have grown to a significant size. We've got, got about a billion pound turnover. Uh, that map is a bit small, I'm sorry, but we are a global company. So as far as I'm concerned, marine and maritime is a global thing. Thank you for Galway's statement and thank you for integrating more countries, but only <laughs> Europe. But it's a global thing. Um, our mission hasn't changed very much, other than including other industries into the asset verification. Um, we are still there to enhance the safety of life, property, and the environment. That hasn't changed for quite a long time, I think. Um, there's a lot more to the mission. I'm not going to read it out. Um, my part of the organization has recently undergone a massive change. Um, we have moved house. We have moved house with 400 people from London to Southampton um, to a location that we term the Global Technology Center. And we did that because we wanted to be closer to science. As a bunch of engineers and naval architects, we felt the need to be closer to science. The uh, vision that is on the bullet points in front of you at the moment was the vision that was set out by our management at the time. I would say we have recognized, so I'm now bringing my own vision into this, um, I would say we have recognized that today the engineering of a ship can't stand alone. So we can't verify a ship on a ship. We need to learn about what the influence of the ship on the environment is and what the environment's influence on the ship is which is what I'm going to tell you later in a couple of bullet points. Um, so we wanted to be closer to science to understand uh, new, new innovations, but also more about the world our ships operate in, um, in order to make better decisions. Um, the university we chose to be close to is Southampton University, which is also reasonably old not quite as old. Um, and we've had interactions with the marine side since, since marine no, maritime, I think a European speech separates ships and calls them maritime. We had interactions with the maritime side for about 40 years. I believe my current technical director is one of the graduates from Southampton University, Naval Architecture or Engineering I think he is. Um, there's a number of other very clever people that, that graduated from there that work alongside us in Lloyd's Register. And after 40 years, we finally came to end up in Southampton, right opposite. So you can see the building that's where we're living now. Um, we've only moved in in November, so it's very fresh. Uh, and in order to, to uh, start learning what individuals do, in order to start collaboration, you need to start talking to each other. And we've started doing that with various 
activities, for example, um, learning for the university to learn what we know, um, giving seminars, having interactions with researchers in a in an informal manner, or just generally sitting around having a cup of coffee. Um, to go back to the reason of why we have done this, the ships that we look at for their safety are dependent on the marine environment. Wind waves influence the ship, and it's some work in the SMMI that will support that a new accumulation of knowledge um, that will start to work. SMMI, by the way, is the Southampton Marine and Maritime Institute. Uh, that will start this year is to look at full-scale measurements of uh, large container, container ships, some sloshing calculations, um, some ship motion analysis, and I'm not going to read out the rest. But also, and I think here is a lot more that we could do in future, ships are, um, ships are dependent on the marine environment because we might uh, go into the cold environment. So there's one, one piece of work that we're going to look at in terms of the ice and the impact on the steel this year sometime. And this is the area, sorry, where I thought we could do much more. The marine environment is influenced by us and our ships as well. Um, this is an angle that I hadn't heard today uh, in the course, and um, I feel quite strongly about it. We, we will look at uh, a couple of topics in relation to uh, increasing performance on our ships, monitoring performance, and therefore kind of getting efficiency improved, uh, looking at the impact of exhaust glass cleaning systems and scrubber technology, uh, and uh, looking at uh, continuous emission monitoring systems. Now, the first and the third bullet point, I think, might be quite interesting to know that I, I personally see that 100 million projects where oceanography can help us understand that, in, that environment in which we um, actually impact now much better than we currently do. At the moment, the verification is done to to international standards, um, and whether the international standards are actually verifiable even, and this is not only under scrubbing, this is on, on biofouling or transfer of, of species across the planet, is still uh, in, in the region of the science, i.e. in your ballpark, not in our ballpark of the engineering. Um, so we need help, basically. Um, but the SMMI isn't the only interaction that Lloyd's Register have. It is an important interaction, and we, we are very, very happy that we've moved in, and you've now seen what we're going to do over the next year or so. Um, Lloyd's Register are for a long time already involved in EU-funded work, and um, our direction isn't limited to only ships, so we, we look at all these areas that you can see on that little tree. And over the last couple of years, I think the last time we totted up was two years ago. Apolo apologies. Must tot up again. We have, <coughs> we have spent in research about those numbers. We have worked together with more than 500 companies in research institutions, and we want to continue doing that. And this is not only in Europe, this is globally. Regarding European research, and unfortunately at the moment we, we, we're not in the area that you guys work in. We are more in the transport sector from the European calls. Um, regarding European research, here's a, just a couple of the <coughs> logos of the projects that we have done or are currently still doing. Um, and regarding the Galway Statement, we are very glad to see the Galway Statement. It, it fits with Lloyd's Register's mission. The mission of Lloyd's Register goes, goes further because we are global. Our impact is global. 
Um, and we, we um, uh, currently are in process, and unfortunately I need to go home and write some proposal. We're currently trying to get a proposal written where we can possibly maybe involve some Canadian firm. Fingers crossed, next week is deadline. Um, and uh, yeah, so thank you, very European Union, thank you, US, thank you, Canada. The go away statement is a step in the right direction, I think. So, with regards to my house move, we have uh, still a way to go and to, to make better friends at the University of Southampton. We are only there for five months. And once, we're, once we've embedded, the SMMI might turn up in the odd European proposal as an organization itself. Um, and uh, with regard to um, any research in the area where ships might be influencing that environment that we're all interested in, we're here and interested. Thank you very much for your attention, and I hope I made it in shorter than the 15 minutes.